straight out to the lion's den. Uh, Cenk Jurger, a radio talk show host. Young Turks, how can we, including Young Turks, expect change when the very people writing the laws are beholden to corporate interests? And the Supreme Court certainly didn't help when it gave corporations a big boost uh, three years ago to use even more uh, power and money. And there's a similar issue coming before the Supreme Court in a couple of days that could increase the amount that wealthy individuals give, giving more power to this elite. Jane, you're 100 percent right. It's it's. You've hit the issue right on the head. The problem is the money in politics and the corporate power. But, you know, there's all this loose talk about, oh, you know, if the Democrats and Republicans would get together, we'd just listen to the people. They say that all the time. You were right to say that to the congressman. I, I've heard that crap forever. No, no, no. There is an answer. There's an actual answer. It isn't kumbaya and all that stuff that's never worked. The answer is you do a constitutional amendment saying that corporations are not people. They don't have inalienable rights endowed by their creator to give a limitless money to our politicians. Now, why is the system broken? The problem is the system. The system is broken because we let them take legal bribes, usually yes. from corporations, but also from incredibly large, rich donors. So then 95% of the time, the guy with more money wins. So who do you think they listen to? They don't listen to the voters. They listen to the donors. So you need an amendment saying, that the Supreme Court is full of it. We're not going to take it anymore. Corporations aren't people. And you need to publicly finance the elections so that they're beholden to us, so they represent us and not their donors. As somebody once said, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore, and neither should you. We need to get together, rise up, and say, enough. <laughs> Throw the bums out. Maybe we need a new party. We certainly need a new attitude in Washington.